Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Thank you for checking out my videos. Go to thecombatsystem.com for all your mixed martial arts needs. And please subscribe to my YouTube page. Make sure to go to thecombatsystem.com and subscribe to my YouTube page. What's your problem, dude? Back up. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, 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 Give up, man! Give up! Give up! So choke him with the feet! Emac armbar, biomechanical armbar and choke, dual submission. Stay tuned, this is my combatives in street jujitsu video. Most of it is completely random grab defense, which is how it should be done. Plus first 10 of essential 15 techniques to the most common types of street attacks. So you have reactions depending on the level of force this situation dictates. Train them and get some muscle memory. Please sub, thumbs up, look up my vids teaching all this. Train, keep awareness, and stay safe. Thanks and hope you enjoy. Cheers. Yes, with the time. Look at the crazy guy. Just suck her bunch of Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Normal day. I'm going about my business. I'm leaving the store. Being dumb on my cell phone in the transitional space where I should have my awareness up. Hello guys, so originally this was just going to be a random grab defense video. I included this here. It's a 240 pound football player even trying to break my structure the right way by hitting my lower back. I showed him. But you should notice I had a strong spine and rooting. There's a lot of TMA concepts here in the grab defense. This originally was going to be just a random grab defense video. And for the next... 10-15 minutes that is what's going to be but I added a lot of street combatives to this so this is really a real street combatives a real combatives and street jujitsu video it was going to be 15 minutes we'll see if it edits to 20 now it should give you the best compilation of, of self-defense in 20 minutes that is out there I hope that is, that is my goal to help prepare people for the realities of a street attack A lot of this is random grab defense, and that's how it should be done. Not this Aikido paint by numbers, Krav Maga paint by numbers that no one can ever actually apply because they're going to have to stop and think. There's no time for that in a real situation. A little arm drag there. This is a uh, athletic young military guy. Some pretty high level of systema like interception there, intercepting um, the intention of the attacker, breaking his structure using biomechanics. You know, I have no idea how he's going to grab me. This, most most of these martial art masters can't do 50% of what I'm doing here. Um, not to sound arrogant, but but literally, uh, through years of bouncing and whatnot, I've learned what reality is in multiple opponents' fights, weapons fights that I've actually been in, etc. A little Kodagashi there, but I decided to just play around. And... Um, uh, but watch this, guys, because I will get into later on uh, 10 of the first 15 essential techniques for the most common attacks going up the range of scale. I will also get into me doing live pressure testing against sucker punches, left arm, right arm, all kinds of different punches. Um, and then eventually you will see preemptive striking. Uh, a lot of preemptive striking, great combinations I've come up with. Not that you want to do that legally, you're in trouble. Uh, but if you're surrounded by multiple people, backed in a way, got to protect your family, etc. That is the right choice in certain situations. So look at my, just my loose flow here. This is invisible jujitsu. Uh, jiu this is Sistema. This is Taki Musu Aki. This is good martial arts. doesn't matter what martial art you call it. Now, why did he just fall there? This big 6'4", 240-pound blue belt? Why? Because I locked his neck. I locked his spine. It's something a lot of jiu-jitsu people wouldn't understand. 
looseness here I got out of that arm hold there a minute ago. Be loose, adapt, overcome. Arm bar on the leg there. Break his structure, break his balance. Use his Kazushi, his momentum against him. There's his momentum, peel his face. Oh, a body can't handle his face getting peeled back, even though he's 6'4", 240. I was about 218 at this time. I was a bit lighter last year. Sink my weight. See me sinking and rooting my weight there. That can really work. It actually worked against Hodger Gracie once uh, uh, by this Muay Thai fighter. Out the back door. Bow and arrow him. Why did I bow and arrow him? I can teach the jujitsu defense. Go to the arm bar, all that. Frame the neck. Takes a long time. My bow and arrow defense doesn't. Oh, he threw a strike. Just like on the street. You don't know. But I managed to get my arm on the inside block, intercepting it, making a, a frame or a hanger, if you will, and then finding whatever I found. I don't even remember what I just found. Throat grab, little Koei Kodagishi, didn't really fully work, but he made him drop his structure, which brought his knee head down, which means I'm going to knee him in the face and tie him in knots like I'm doing here, break his neck there if I wanted to, going over the arm, got the arm bar there, the neck stretch, got everything going on, little catch wrestling style. Uh, action right there, catch jitsu style. Reading intention, sensitivity, TMA concepts, guys. Doesn't do most TMA guys can they really fight? Not a lot of them. No, uh, you gotta have rate uh, uh, roots in real sparring, real grappling, pressure testing, live randori. Uh, but obviously, I'm very open minded, and a lot of you seem to appreciate that on my page. Oh, oh, you threw another strike. Well, I got on the inside of it, wrapped around his head, did a uh, chin whip. Chin rip, a chin rip takedown. You even saw uh, like a reverse chin rip takedown and the equalizer in the uh, the greasy spoon diner, if I remember correctly. Just like some of my highlight videos. Did that fully take him down there? Well, eventually it did. Did the first attempt? No. But then I got a waist lock, locked his hips, took him down. It's not going to be like a set defense. Kind of a katanagi, had an arm spin there, run away. More combatives applications. Kind of like Krav would do, but only against certain grabs, right? And this and that. Sometimes you just hit the guy. Loose. I could have loosely slapped him with tons of power because I'm loose. Loose is fast. You don't have to unlock your muscles, your nervous system, then resend a signal to contract. It's one-way highway, baby. Uh, we're going live, totally live, for like over six minutes. Older guys. Just random. Random grabs, intuitive, instinctual defense. Make sure to stick around, guys, because this will teach you. You'll be able to see applications against a couple takedown attempts, against punches, against uh, sucker punches from both hands, not just one hand from weird angles. Uh, really pressure testing that stuff. And then set defenses that I recommend everybody learns and puts under muscle memory, no matter what your martial art. The 10 defenses I got here uh, later on in the video. See, if it really hit him in the spine there, even with palm strikes, it's devastating. You wouldn't know that, but it is. Once you understand biomechanics, it would be really bad for him. Oh, he tried to throw a strike again. Look at that. Whoa, I don't know. Wrap the arm, felt the nashi brashi going backwards with my loose body, strong core, strong spine. Strong spine, strong breathing, good breathing means strong martial artist, strong body. Be in structure, let them make the mistakes and help them go out of structure. When someone is out of structure, they are not strong. So whatever martial art you call this, it's kind of sad to me that a lot of jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu people, couldn't do this. It's like, well, if there's multiple opponents, and a lot of times on the street, you don't want to go to the ground, right? I've been in a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of you know, we, oh, look at this arm bar here. I mean, very, if I was too strong in my muscular contraction, I wouldn't be able to go from a cover to an arm wrap to a Russian two-on-one elbow break right there.
I want them to come at me from the side. I want them to come at me from behind. That's why sometimes you see me turn around. Getting some real pressure here. Hope again. Head scissors. Modified reverse double wrist lock Kimura with the wrist lock. And against the shoot, that guy is a pro fighter, by the way. Against the shoot, my hands are loose and in places. Loose, fast reactions means with head manipulations, you can actually defend. Three on one here. This was a teaching video, so it's not fully allowed, but I'm folding a lot on there. Hoop! Daito Ruaki Jiu Jitsu style before I even really looked into that style. But it, this is a very good video. I have more of a teaching video so you learn. And it will even help out grapplers. It will teach you how to not get arm lock if you really open your mind and pay attention to that video. Hit the nuts, chin rip, breaking structure. what I do? Figure it out, guys. What did I do there? Slapped his ribs, locked his hips. what I do there? Jumping jack-in-the-box takedown. Look at my amazing uh, anti-cage tactics video I just put out. You learn about the jack-in-the-box. It was a jumping in the air using my body weight jack in the box vibrations on his spine. I don't know how I can use a Temi, use hits to get into stuff like wrist locks. Whoa, what was that? A flying Russian Sistema squirrel guillotine defense? That would never work, except in the intro, you saw me doing it live against a MMA champion bigger than me, heavyweight MMA champion in Purple Belt. This is live get pressure testing, guys. I told him to throw mostly big right haymakers. You see, he's sneaky. <laughs> nice student. So the first two, you see my hands are up, I'm backing away in a fence. That's what I recommend. But now I wanted to test how good I could be with my hands down in a not uh, like normal stance in everyday life. And someone just tries to sucker punch you, you let them get too close. Oh, he got a little something for him being tricky. <laughs> See that long left hook could hit him right there too as the follow-up shot. A little bit of Taki Musu Aki there possibly. <laughs> Yubi Dori. So this is one through ten, and you see the escalate up violence, and then a with double wishbone. With a double knee ride there, double wishbone on the uh, fingers. That hurts so bad. He fell way too easy this time, but a little better the next time. So you, you could have gave the wrist, guys, while putting the finger in and down on the throat notch. That would have been a, a Wing Chun style center line sideways palm strike with a thumb going into the eye. To knock him back, get some Kazushi, uh, then the rest of it's Aikido. Uh, pulling that arm down, going to the Ikkyo arm pin, and all these many variations of controlling and or hurting or threatening to hurt the arm that I did there, including a cool gooseneck wrist lock. There's the pottery defense you saw earlier in the video. Guillotine snap down after some elbows and knees to the nuts. Grab from behind, overhook, Osoto Gari Major how to reap that leg. Grab the throat, squeeze it, and or do some kind of arm bar. There was a figure four hour straight arm bar there. And again, here we're going through it again. Could break that finger, and that was a reverse wrist lock with a double wishbone uh, combined there. Someone grabs your shirt. Get control of the one hand, so get him off balance and, and, and on the throat notch. If he starts to swing, you in with the throat notch and code against you with the other hand at the same time. Off at the angle. I need more attention from him, but he was a beginner, though a big athletic 240 pound uh, football player. See how I got his wrist controlled there? That's horrible pain there with uh, the handheld there. 
could have broken into the elbow on my knee there, you know, hold position, uh, all this stuff that I just kind of improvised. Someone started a shoulder roll out, they were really trying to twist out, log roll out, um, that would be a good control position there. Hands are down. At close range, hands down, you want to do the pottery or slaps defense. A little farther out, you do a head and elbow spear usually, which you see a few times throughout this video. Could finish there on the neck or on the arm. And if the arm bends, it could be a Udi Grammy of some variation as well. Now number six through ten. Spin the tango into a rear naked choke. Many different rear naked choke variations. I showed a one hand police restraint hold that's legal for police in a lot of states. A restraint hold on the arteries while you call for backup or access tools on your tool belt. Peel that face, break the structure. Even when they're big and strong, break that structure. Biomechanics. Head and elbow spear. A little more aggressive coming at you now. Spear into that. Knee the growing twice. Throw a bunch of elbows in his face. He'll usually fall from backpedaling if you give good forward pressure. Little old Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Machado Jiu Jitsu Judo there, like the Machado Jiu Jitsu old Japanese self defense DVDs back in the day. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Someone Thank you for gonna checking kick out your my ass. videos. Front leg, go and kick him in the nuts. I can't see it coming. Fight starters, guys. Don't do it unless you got to. Legally, you'd be in trouble for assault. But when there's three confronting you, your back hits wall, you gotta defend your family. Heck yeah, I won't wanna start that fight first. Preemptively with a weapon or or empty hand. Depends on the situation. So I wanted to include this here to show you real combatives in street jiu-jitsu. Look how I got his foot. If he was a little less flexible, it's actually a little dangerous with like boots on and whatnot that could break their ankle. It's a good thing to know about on the street. See the arms are waving around my head that kind of help protect you theoretical but yes you can pull this off look at the loose but very powerful arm strikes here quick non-telegraphic I don't load up I don't pull back that one was an equalizer movie as well I wonder um, if the actor came up with that himself or it was his uh, kind of spooky guy that trained him. Since he does a lot of boxing, obviously playing the hurricane before, he might have came up with himself. So throw strike, two knee to the growing, head and arm spin, katanagi from Akito if you'd like. It's all kinds of cool stuff there. Four strikes there. Notice that they are to the neck, the nerves, and trying to collapse that artery. Trying to get that knockout. That could be the growing or it could be a lower ab to break his structure as well. If you corkscrew it in, that bends them forward by changing the plate. Look at the head twist. See my other video on my cage tactics, my anti-cage tactics in the UFC. Francis Nagano used it on Stipe. Notice the shoulder hit there. When you got that plum clench, going into the elbow, going into the guillotine. Grab around the neck, neck whip, chin whip, wherever you grab. See the sleight of hand, the distraction. This stuff could save your life, guys. Usually I de-escalate and keep my space. De-escalate and keep your space if you can. Get away without the fight happening. Put your hands up in a fence. Don't give them an easy sucker punch target. But if you're cornered, multiple people, got to defend your family. Thanks, guys. Stay put for some cool stuff here and at the very self-defense when you mess up and you let someone in your face. Always keep aware. Put up a fence. But I can pick up all these different angles by doing this. Looks funny. Boom, 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 boom. All right, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Snap him down and run away. 
That's the video. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Thumbs up, yo.